Ahoy mates! Welcome on board the brand new Celebrity Ascent. We are here for a two-night special event sailing, so if you're interested in seeing the full and complete ship tour of this vessel, as well as all the fun we had during that special event sailing, be sure to check out our entire Celebrity Ascent playlist. But for today's video, I want to take you around and show you all the different room categories that you can stay in on board the Celebrity Ascent. Now the way this is going to work is I'm going to start here in our stateroom, which is an infinite veranda stateroom, and I'm going to give you the full tour like I normally would, show you all the ins and outs, the plugs, the light switches, everything in detail. And then they're going to have all these other stateroom categories open for us to go and view. Now when we go to those other staterooms, there will be other travel agents there checking them out, filming them as well, so we will do our best to work around them. But we're going to see interior, ocean view, veranda, all the different categories of suite are going to be included in this video. So let's go ahead and get it started. All the different room categories, or at least most of them, on board the Celebrity Ascent. Our tours of those rooms begin right now. All right, port side of the ship, deck six, heading aft from the midship elevators, we find room 279. And here's our overview of the space as we enter the room, and then we'll go over everything in detail. So right when we enter the room, of course, on the back of the door, we'll have our deadbolt lock, our magnet that we can put on the outside to let the stateroom attendant know that we're deep sleeping. And we do not want to be bothered. Peephole with cover and then your safety information. Now, over on this side, you might see this door here. This is just a connecting door in case you were, you know, you were traveling with the people in the stateroom next to you. You could open those up and connect the two staterooms. If not, you just leave it closed and locked. No big deal. So right off of our entryway here, we will find the entrance to the bathroom. And inside the bathroom area here, everything you're about to see is going to be pretty consistent for all of the main stateroom categories. Interior, ocean view, veranda, for the most part, are going to look just like this bathroom. It won't be until we get to the suites that it'll be different. So we come in, we see we have the nice tile floor down below and the big glass shower there. No shower curtain. Just a nice door that pops open for you to get in and out of. And it is a rounded outdoor too, so it gives you some more room inside. You see you do have a couple of hanging pegs there, with the fan up above as well as the light. And then we have our adjustable and removable shower head wand there with the controls down below. We do have the amenities there tucked up on its own dispenser for shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. The handle to help you get in and out of, a little shower caddy down below, and then a little footrest as well if you need to shave or something like that with the drain. There's plenty of room inside the shower. Next to that we will find the toilet area. You have a little shelf here you can actually put stuff on if you need it. Paper, towels, things like that. It's a nice art up above and then we'll find the vanity area we do have shelves on either side as you can see here some drinking glasses and then down below tissue paper or other amenities like body lotion shower cap and vanity set they're all included as well as your lather soap bar for use at the sink you can see it's a nice big long wide sink there we also have some washcloths and biodegradable towelettes which is nice tucked up in there do have some shelving down below our trash can, our towels, more shelf space here, and then you can see the little plug there, which is usually used for an electric razor. The mirror up above that, and it is illuminated. And the back of the shower door also has some hanging pegs. And then outside the bathroom door, we will find our light switches here, which control the light for the bathroom and the lights or the overhead for the main part of the room, which is right there. That's the bathroom light. And then up above that, we do have our touchscreen thermostat, which also can control the lighting in the room as well as the blinds. We'll get to those in just a little bit. Now coming off of that, we have this rounded corner and you see there's like this little display area with the coral art there lit up. And it kind of just looks like it's a solid wall, but there's actually storage hidden inside. So you have to just find these little notches here and then pull them open. And that's where you'll find some storage. So you see we have several cubby spots here and one even includes our laundry bag should you be using laundry services and even an umbrella hidden in there for a rainy day. Up above the coral artwork, we have another storage cabinet and actually just is the continuation of the top one on this side, but you can access it from either spot. And then we also have one down below the coral art piece. It just has some little shelves in there. Oh, and again, this is actually a continuation of this one. So you can access it from either way. There you go. It's double opening sided door. Now around on this side where it's flatter, you'll actually find the true closet space, which opens on both sides there. You do have the full length mirror attached to the back side of that door. Your robes hanging up right there. 
in your first hanging space. You have a second hanging space over to the right, and then a third pull-down hanging bar. Actually, no, that's a fixed, so that just stays there. You can hang stuff there, and then it's open down below, so if you want to store something larger, and then you even have a little shelf space right there that you can store things in, too. And then the cubby space, including the safe, which is very small, so just like some jewelry, passports, things like that. And then you have pull-out drawers, which is weird. You saw what just happened there, right? It hits that, so you really want to open that all the way up to be able to access the drawers, but they are soft clothes, which is nice, and they even have a little nice painted lining in there. All right, moving on to the main room area now. And again, I just want to point out, I'm going to go over our room in detail, show all the plugs, show all the lights, so just all that stuff. And then once we get to the other rooms, I'm not going to keep pointing those things out. We'll just kind of get the overview once we get there. So here we have our trash can down below, and then we're going to have our desk vanity kind of spot. So you see you have your chair there tucked in where you can sit at the illuminated mirror, light switch for that just beside it. And then you have this box here. It's not a treasure chest, it's actually a charging area. So you have one 220, two 110s, and then two USB ports. You can close that up if you don't wanna look at it, but there are slots for the cords to come out and charge your devices. Remote for the television there, your bottled water and drinking glasses there. Uh, lamp attached to the desk with the light switch at the bottom of it. And then they put your room service menu, any documents, anything you need right below that. Now below that we will have our drawers. Ooh, nice art book, Art of the Celebrity Ascent. Pull out drawers, that one's divided, that one's divided too. And then a third one down below is divided as well. Soft close on those, just like we saw in the closet. This door opens up and reveals our mini refrigerator and also kind of a mini bar because they do have food and drink in here. See the private bar tab there that you can purchase these items for consumption. Now across from that, we do have our sitting space here. Nice comfy lounger with the pillows and the artwork up above. And I wanna point out that this is not any kind of bed. This is just a couch. So this specific infinite veranda category can only sleep two. If, if I'm given the occupancy levels of the other rooms, I'll try to mention them, but we can always help you sort that out if you're looking to book. So when you contact us via the travel agent information, that you'll find in the description of this video. <laughs> we have our lighting up above and it's actually illuminated up above the vents as well. Now, when we turn here, we get into the main bed space. You see the bed put together as like the king bed. It's really closer to a queen. They like to call it a king. It's still pretty big though. And then we have our nightstands on either side with the different cubbies. And each side has a lamp, which has a switch right there at the base of. Now on this side, you're gonna have a 110 outlet, as well as a light switch that is for the overhead lights in the entire room, and then two USB ports down below. On the other side, you're not gonna get any of that. There's nothing. You're gonna get the phone, and that's it. So you have the phone and your own lamp, but you do have some cubby space down below, and you can store things under the bed. Now, typically the beds in rooms like this can be split into two twins and then they'll move the two nightstands in the middle. But, you know, it's set up as the main one bed here, as you can see. Now, directly across from the bed, we will have our wall-mounted television. And that does appear to be a firm-mounted TV. So there's no pivot, there's no tilt, there's no swivel. It doesn't extend out. It stays right where it's at, which is kind of unfortunate because you can't tilt it like over this way to view it from the couch. And it's also going to make it more difficult to plug in streaming devices, but it is there nonetheless. All right, now we get to the main point of this category of stateroom. And if you hear me say infinite veranda and any other stateroom category going forward, this is what I'm going to be talking about. So right now, what you see is we have the table and the chairs there set up. So it's kind of like a little sunroom. And what we have is the blinds down. That is a set of blinds there that are closed. But we can simply hit one of these switches over on the wall and the blinds begin to ascend. So we're going now from what basically look like an interior stateroom with a nice little sitting area to now what essentially becomes a panoramic ocean view because you're going to have floor to ceiling windows looking out to the ocean. Now, that would be pretty great as is to have this nice floor to ceiling window here to get the look out to see at the port, wherever you're at. But a nice little feature here of these rooms, why it's called an infinite veranda, again, that's a fancy word for balcony if you didn't know, is you can hit this other switch and this top pane of glass descends down next to the bottom pane of glass. And now you are completely open air to the outside world. So it essentially becomes a built-in veranda space because now you're open air. Like if you had a normal balcony, right? 
on any other ship, you wouldn't be able to go out past this point because you would have a railing or something like that. But now you can open it up, you can come out past this point, get a nice look around, look any way you want, and take in the great views. And if you're thinking, oh, that's great, but isn't that gonna let all of my air conditioning out? Yes, it will, but you can help mitigate that with these doors that are on either side. So you just pull those over, push like that, it locks into place, and then you can do the same thing on the other side. So now our window is down, we have our open air veranda. It's essentially like a balcony that we can go out and enjoy that space. If you want fresh air throughout, you can open these up and have it come right into the stateroom. Or you can put the window up and just have that nice panoramic ocean view and enjoy your air conditioning. It's a really great feature. It offers a lot of variety and a lot of options. Now, it's not perfect because you can see there, there's a gap there. So it's not gonna keep all the air conditioning out and all or in and all the heat out or anything like that but it will block most of it with these doors so here's a look at our controls for that the blinds on this side which you actually don't need to hold i thought you did but um after a certain point you can let it go and they'll keep going on their own the window i think you do have to hold for the entire time and it gives you some instructions here the captain can actually close this as well if there's inclement weather so they can override it and close it for you and uh, you have to be careful if you do have this open that your actual stateroom door, if you open that, it will create a strong wind tunnel effect. So you wanna be careful of that. Last thing to point out is the light switch there. And that controls this light up above for this spot. Now, a couple of quick tips here before we get out is that these doors for the veranda part and the furniture often are kind of in the way of each other. So you typically have to slide the chairs out so that you can close these doors. But what you want to be careful with is their blind areas. You can see they have the little track there running across. You want to make sure that all your furniture is clear when those blinds come down because if it hits anything it can kind of get it off track and mess it up a little bit and you don't want that. But otherwise just enjoy your beautiful views from your infinite veranda or your panoramic ocean view window, whatever you prefer. All right, so that's going to do it for the detailed tour of our infinite veranda ocean view stateroom. Now we're going to go and look at all of the other room categories that they have available for us. Again, not in as much detail as we move forward. And just a final reminder, if any other room, I say infinite veranda, that's what I'm talking about, the thing that comes down, because we will see some that have actual balconies that you walk out on. So that'll be the distinguishment to keep in mind there. All right, let's go see all of our other categories. All right, we begin with room 9278. This is a deluxe inside. All right, so right when we come in, we will find the entrance to the bathroom. And this is gonna be consistent throughout, like we saw in our room. The entrance to the bathroom is gonna be right when we come in with the thermostat, the shelf, the closet, all that. And then the bed space is actually pulled in on this room with the TV mounted across. And then you actually go into the sitting area tucked up in the corner with the desk vanity across because this is an inside room, no window, no balcony. All right, room 6239, and this is a panoramic ocean view room. So same bathroom right by the entrance, just like we saw in the other rooms. And then we see the rest of the rooms. It's gonna be laid out very similarly. Desk vanity area, sitting area over here, and closet area tucked behind, just like in the uh, other rooms, like in our room and the interior room. Then you're gonna have your med main bed space, TV mounted across. So the biggest thing with this one is that you're going to have the window there. So this almost looks like the infinite veranda that we saw in our room, but it actually just has the uh, blind control right there. So you can lower the blinds here to block that out, but the window will actually stay affixed. It does not open. All right, room 9327, this is a sunset veranda. So again, our standard entryway with the bathroom, the closets, and of course sitting area, desk vanity. Then we have our TV mounted across from the bed. The thing that makes this room special is that it has an actual veranda, an actual balcony that you can walk out on, not an infinite veranda that just opens up. And this is a sunset veranda because it is out here on the aft of the ship. So you are looking directly out. If we were moving right now, we are parked. But if we were moving, you'd be able to see the wake right there behind us. Room 9231. This is an accessible concierge room, beginning with the rollover entryway. And the widened doorway door opens up further as you come in. Things are going to be laid out just a little bit differently because it's an accessible room. And you'll find some different features. So in the back of the bathroom door, we'll see the additional handle there. And then it's going to be a completely roll-in area, roll-in shower, the additional handles inside, the seat, the emergency pull cord there, 
and the handles over here as well as the phone. So a little bit different because this is an accessible room. And you flow into the bed, which is lowered. Everything's going to be lowered in here, nightstands and things like that. Then it's just basically the same setup as before with the infinite veranda, just a little bit wider. You can see it's a larger room, the sitting area over there. And you can see there's a pull down for the uh, hanging area in the closet there. And basically we have roll over here into the infinite veranda area. So this will operate just like you saw in our room. But this is a concierge level room, so you're going to get the benefits that come with staying in a concierge class. So just wanted to stop and point out really quick that the concierge room, the aqua classroom, that accessible one we just saw, the infinite veranda room that we had that started the video, those are all pretty much going to be the same room. Obviously the accessible one has those modifications, but they're pretty much going to be the same layout with the infinite veranda. Now you'll get the extra benefits for concierge if you're staying in that one, or the extra benefits for aqua class if you're staying in that one, but the actual rooms themselves are very, very similar. Room 9265, and this is going to be an aqua classroom. It's pretty busy for this one, so I'm just going to filming from out here you can see it's laid out exactly like that concierge form would have been if it wasn't accessible but it would look like this normally you can see it's laid out just like our infinite veranda stateroom is this one just comes with those aqua class benefits so the staff member that was in the accessible concierge room we saw two rooms ago she told me that one is actually not a concierge room they just labeled it like that it's an accessible room it's an accessible infinite veranda but again concierge aqua class infinite veranda pretty much all the same room so you have an idea of that now everything we see from this point forward will be a suite so these are all going to be under retreat levels you'll get access to the retreat the luminae restaurant the retreat sun deck retreat lounge all those things will come with these suites that we're about to see. Room 10144, this is a sky suite. So we have the closet space right when we come in, laid out a little bit differently. Of course, now we're in the suite, so it's gonna be different than the other rooms we've seen. So we'll shoot between the closets here to enter the bathroom space, which does include a tub, nice soaking tub there, not jetted, but soaking tub, and it's also a shower combo. As you can see, all the shower faucets and the head there, rain shower style coming down. And then across from that, we're gonna have our extended vanity area with a little stool there double sink mirror and the peekaboo window to look through to the rest of the room shelving up top and then you can come around there's a frosted door here which is for the toilet room and here's our bed space again the window back through the bathroom seating area table desk vanity television there which does pivot out on like an hour room and then you have an actual veranda that you can walk out on. So it's not infinite. You can actually go out there to the open air. And again, this is the entry level for retreat, entry level for suites, and it accommodates two guests. Room 10118, this is an aqua sky suite. All right, so similar to the last one, we have closets here on the entryway. And then we split the difference to enter the bathroom area, which also has the tub, soaking tub, shower combo. This is laid out almost exactly the same that we just saw in the sky suite, including the peekaboo window to go through the rest of the room. Into our bed space, sitting area, desk vanity, TV, and then out to the actual veranda. So this, as I mentioned, is an aqua sky suite. That's why it's so similar to the last one because it was a sky suite as well. This is just going to include aqua amenities. Okay, room 12119, this is a celebrity suite. So come in, we have the illuminated full length mirror here on the side, and then turn to go into the bathroom space. First door enters into kind of like a toilet sink area, and then you have your tub shower combo. Not a big soaking tub, just a regular size tub, and then another sink here on this side with the vanity. And then this also opens up with another door that goes into the bed space, it's kind of like a bedroom area here. See the bed and the TV mounted across with the closet space. And here's our main TV desk vanity area, which is across from our sitting area. Nice large sectional couch there, table and sitting chair. And this heads out to a pretty substantially large balcony with a full-size table and chairs there and even a nice sitting couch as well. And this one happens to be under this overhang. So you're way up here, the overhang sticks out. That'll keep you in the shade and uh, keep any rain from getting on your veranda. Room 12103, this is the Royal Suite. All right. So in our entry area, we have a nice landing area with a shelf here, and then a door that opens into a small half bath. And as we proceed in, we'll find a kitchenette area with the wet bar here, nice little coffee maker, water, and a refrigerator down below, lots of storage, and a dining table across from that with booth and chair seating. And then that flows in through to this main bathroom area. You can see you have the extra large vanity here, dual sinks, mirrors, and a peekaboo window, window as well into the bedroom area and then a nice elevated soaking tub here. And as we come back around, 
you'll actually find the shower. Nice walk in here, no door, no curtain or anything. Big rain shower head up above, 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 up above. And on the other side of the tub is the toilet. Now we can go directly from the bathroom into the master bedroom area with our bed, nightstands, all of that, and a little vanity pop-up area here on the side. And you can also access the veranda from here and go around the corner to enter back into the main living area. So we have a nice sitting area here with the rocking chairs, full-size couch, table, and our TV with soundbar mounted across. Room 15106, this is an edge villa, and even though it's not the highest category, it will seem like it because this is actually a two-story suite. You can see the stairwell over there on the side. So right around the corner from the door, we have our wet bar area. Fridge, just like we saw in the last one, shelving up above. We have a full dining area, booth seating and chairs. And that flows right into our living area with our TV, sound bar, chairs, and full-size sectional couch. You can head out on the lower level veranda there. If you turn, you'll find a nice desk work area tucked up under the staircase. Nice big windows looking out to the jacuzzi tub on the veranda. So out on the veranda now we have a seating area, nice couch with table, even got some planters that go up. You can see the windows up above there, the second story. A nice rocking chair here with a table as well. And of course clear glass and open air out to sea. And then we have our hot tub jacuzzi area starting with our two loungers here and then our stairs to get up into the hot tub jacuzzi area which is quite quite large and then you're tucked up in this corner area here with the windows surrounding you looking out to sea. And now we will head upstairs to see the second story. So right when we land on the second story we will find some closet space here as well as a door that heads outside. So this goes out to the uh, pool deck area for the retreat area. You can actually head right out there and it is an exterior door so you can lock it. You can also be locked out. Full length mirror here as well. Then we'll turn the corner. We're open air to down below. We have some additional closets here and then we'll enter into the bathroom space. So our nice vanity area. Not quite a peekaboo but you can see through the slats there. Mirror and then our nice large soaking tub there. Walk in shower with built in bench, the big rainfall head up above, and then our toilet room off to the side. Then we have our bedroom area with our nice desk here, charging box, jewelry boxes, nightstands on either side, phones, all that, hanging lights on either side of the bed. And then you have a flip down TV there in the ceiling, and you do have the panoramic windows that you're looking out with the curtains. Oh, and before we leave, I forgot to show downstairs here, there actually is a bathroom right when you come in on your right with the vanity toilet and the walk-in shower. All right, two more suite categories to see starting with 12110. This is the penthouse suite. So as we come in, we'll see the large dining area here, tables and chairs, and that flows right into our wet bar, Looks similar to what we've seen in the other rooms. Nice lights hanging down. Have a nice table runner area there with some information, some a phone, a charging area. And this flows right into your living area with your large sectional couch. You have a sitting chair over there, large TV mounted on the wall over there with the sound bar and all that looking out towards the veranda. Now if we kick off here to the right, we'll find a bedroom area, TV mounted there with the built-in shelving, a bed across from that. And we turn around here, we'll find this nice like I guess a little preparation area, pop-up vanity, makeup mirror, all that good stuff in there. Continuing on forward into the bathroom area, we have our sink and vanity, illuminated mirror, little sitting stool over here, and then we'll find a toilet room which also includes a bidet and closet space around the corner. Now turning around, bathroom area continues, starting with the walk-in shower with the built-in bench, nice size bench there. And then continues on across into a jacuzzi soaking tub, jetted tub, I should say. Look at all the jets built in there with the window that you can look out at. There are blinds that close, of course, and you do have another sink and vanity area here as well. Now this turns around and goes right past the bedroom area we just saw, but there's also this little sitting area here. A couple of nice chairs and your windows, your curtains, and you also your veranda off to the side. That continues right back into the main living area. Now we're gonna go across. We enter this doorway and we'll find our second bedroom area with our main bed there, TV mounted across, access to the veranda out there. You do have a nice sitting area, getting ready area here. Closets off to the side. And this door opens into the bathroom area for this bedroom. So sink vanity right as you come in, 
toilet off to the side, and you can also access that via that door, which is right when you come into the suite, and then you have your walk-in shower over here. We'll step out and take a look at the veranda, which is quite large. Again, we're going to have that nice couch there, ottomans, glass panels all the way across, a couple of chairs down there, and then your open air out to sea, and you do have that overhang like we saw earlier, and you actually get a sneak preview of our final suite, the highest level suite, the iconic suite. That's the veranda area for it right over there. Let's head to that one and finish up. All right, our final suite and our final room tour. Room 12100, this is the iconic suite. So again, this is the highest level of suite. These are exclusive to Edge class ships and there are only two of them on board here. All right, so right when we enter, we have our huge living dining area. See, they have the full dining room table chairs there. And you have the floor to ceiling windows throughout. Nice big sectional couch there, a couple of chairs, extra large TV with soundbar mounted across. You even have a fun hanging swinging chair over there. All the finishings and fixtures throughout the area. Small little bar area tucked back there with some plugs in the foam. Even have a uh, cycling machine here and a rocking chair as well. And then we can step out here onto that veranda that we saw from the last suite. And you see how large it is. Look at all the large comfy chairs table, dining table and chairs over there, day bed, and of course, jacuzzi hot tub out here on your own veranda. And it sticks out basically like the bridge would, right? Like the wings of the ship, the bridge down below is where the captain is. So you can come out here and get a great view looking back down the whole side of the ship. See the magic carpet back there. You can see out of port. Now you won't be able to see the magic carpet for the other iconic suite. So this one here is on the starboard side right at the front. The other one's gonna be on the port side right at the front. So you wouldn't be able to see that from that room only on this one. You can look down there to the uh, front forward part of the ship and see where you're going or if you're in port. All right, now we're heading into our first bedroom area and you'll notice that all of these are drawers, cabinets, closet space, all the way around the room there all of those open up so you can store things in them tv will flip down from the ceiling and your bed is here on an island floating out in your bedroom space you do have a sitting area here floor to ceiling windows angled out so you can kind of walk right up to them and see again right out the front of the ship or a little bit to the side nice little uh, desk vanity area tucked up in here and then we can go around the bed and behind it into the bath space so look at this huge jetta jacuzzi tub in there nice walk-in shower over on this side you have a, a vanity area here and one back across on this side so it's kind of split and then you have your toilet and bidet room right there and we can go through here i believe this door is the butler's pantry yes so look at that this whole area just designated as a butler's pantry to be used for the wet bar, serving food, drinks, different things like that. Now we'll turn back to the right, right when we enter. So right off the entryway here over to the right this time, we'll open this door here and we'll find a bathroom with our toilet area, our walk-in shower, and our large dual sink vanity. And then we can head around the corner. Again, there's our living area. We can head around the corner here, large full-length mirror. We'll find a nice closet space. You can store everything inside there and some shelves over on this side. And then we enter our second bedroom. TV mounted across, little chair to sit in, bed space over here with all the usual suspects and a little getting ready area there. And then nice big picture windows looking out back out towards your veranda and even towards your hot tub on your veranda. Now one other thing I wanna point out here is by this closet space, You'll see this door, this is a connecting door. So there's a Royal Suite next door that you can connect these two. You can get the Iconic Suite and the Royal Suite and connect them. Well, there you have it, friends. That is the Stateroom and Suite Tour Collection on board the Celebrity Ascent. If you're interested in coming on board the Celebrity Ascent, we would love to make that happen. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. Our services are always completely free to you. So please head over to our website, hoffmanhappytravels.com or contact us via the travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. If you've recently booked your celebrity cruise within the past 30 days and you're not paid in full, you can transfer your booking to our agency. That's also free of charge. And then we can assist you the rest of the way. So either way, we hope we'll hear from you soon. Once again, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the Celebrity Ascent playlist, including the full and complete ship tour. But with that said, we are signing off for today's video. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!